Welcome to Vintage Bricks. Today we are going to find out what my favorite castle set is from the 1980s. And you can decide what yours is too. I'm sure you out there have several that are your favorites. A tough decision. I narrowed it down one to each faction. This is the, of course, the Black Falcon set. Their first one, which was a, which was a classic. The Guarded Inn. Uh, this is a this is a beautifully made set. River crossing for the forest men. Um, you gotta love the forest men; they're great. The very first black monarch castle in 1988. Um, the, these guys were these guys meant business. And then finally, here's a European version of the um, yellow castle, which is in the Classic castle theme. So which one of those fives will I pick as my best? First, let's talk about a little explanation of sets and factions and themes as a little background for some of you for who are new to this LEGO terminology. So come on in and we'll see what we find out. Okay, first we have LEGO themes. Themes can, in this case, the castle theme spans 35 years decades. And themes are composed of many, many factions when they last that long. In this case, we have um, five castle factions in the 1980s alone, and they just kept on coming. So let's get the details of these five factions. Now, factions, of course, have sets in them, and as a total, there were over 50 sets in the 1980s of castle sets alone. Lego is very busy. The first set came out in 1978 in Europe, which was the classic castle, the famous yellow castle set. It eventually made it to uh, North America in 1981, I believe. One way to remember these different factions are by their crest. The Falcons had the black and white falcon. And the, the one's flying by right now. Now, another theme in 1984 were the Lion Knights, or the Crusaders, and they had a Lion Knight emblem, which I think is related to the English royalty, at least at the time. And then, we had to wait till 1987, where the Forestmen came. Now, the Forestmen had, uh, I think, some kind of deer or stag on their shield, and they would get together and have forest parties. Look at them. They're having a great time here. One more Lego faction to go. And this is a faction that 10 years removed from the classic castle. They put a lot of work into this. Look at that. Look at those bards. Look at that guy go. They had the wyvern dragon as their uh, crest. They were mighty. They were mighty. They were a nice bridge into the 1990s. As this is the case, factions come and go. So let's look at when these factions uh, stop having sets released. The Black Falcons released... Uh, sets into the 1990s, although they still show up. And even today, there are new Black Falcon sets. The Lion Knights or Crusaders sets ended in 1992. The Forestmen had a really short run of three years, from 87 to 1990. And the Black Knights are really the bridge set that bridges from the 1980s classical castles to the more uh, magical castles of the 1990s. And the final thing is how many sets were in each of these factions. You can see that the Crusaders had 21 sets, so they really set the pace for getting a complete, you know, village set up and full castle experience. Now the moment we've been waiting for, what is my favorite? Yes, it turned out to be an emotional response, and I picked the forest men, or forest people in this case, crossing. Wonderful, wonderful set. Here it is. I think you have to agree. It's a work of art. It's functional. They're crossing the creek. You gotta, you gotta love these forest men and forest women. They were busybodies, and they kept the castle folk uh, in check. So, what's yours? If you want to put it into the comments, please subscribe. I have a couple more videos in the works. Have a great day. Thanks.